What's up, people? Nature Girl 30 here, and sorry for taking so long for not being able to, to get a Q&A out. It has been a very long week, and if I keep wiping my face, it's, mo it's not because I'm hot. It's because I just got out of the shower and washed my hair, so my hair is a bit damp, and water's coming in my face. But anyway, guys, let's get started with this Q&A. Elliot Powell actually sent me qu the six questions for the last Q&A, so let's finish these up. Um, his question for me is, his final question for me is this, should Hell in a Cell and the Elimination Chamber matches be unpredictable instead of, could be unpredictable instead of names of pay-per-views? Um, honestly, Hell in a Cell, I was really surprised that they actually decided to keep that pay-per-view. I thought they were going to get rid of it because of Elimination Chamber. I mean, it would actually make sense to me if they got rid of Hell in a Cell, but... Honestly, the hell, the last Hell in a Cell actually was pretty good. Predictable, I'm not going to say that it was. In my opinion, it wasn't. It actually was a pretty exciting pay-per-view. But honestly, I think the Elimination Chamber... I think, Elim I think the Elimination Chamber is okay as a pay-per-view. But I think that the Hell in a Cell should be something special. It should be a special event. But I'm, I'm alright with Elimination Chamber being its own pay-per-view. But, um, but I really think that everything is unpredictable. And as you can see, the, the sounds of that actually is coming from my tablet. My tablet is, well, it's doing stuff right now. But anyway, um, thanks for the question. And let's move on to the questions that I have via YouTube. I have a lot of them and I have a few new people. And I'm just going to let you guys know, I did not screen through all of these. So if I actually do read some questions then that I've already read before mostly it's <laughs> it's because I've already read it before but anyway let's get started with the first set of questions well the first question coming from Dustin Nunn um have you ever played WWE uh Legends of Legends of Wrestlemania um honestly no I have not played it but I actually heard it was a pretty good game um but yeah I have not played it the only game that I actually do have is WWE 13. That's it. That's the only wrestling game that I do have. I don't really play that many wrestling games. I usually just watch the pay-per-views and everything at, at most. But um, but honestly, yeah, I, I that, that's the only game I got. But um, moving on to the next set of questions coming from Twipple J. Um, what did you think of SummerSlam or Some Worse Slam? Um, SummerSlam was okay, but the finishes were just completely screwy, and it really pissed me off. I actually did do a review on it, and I have it posted on my channel for those that really want to know my full thoughts. But yeah, I wasn't so happy with the finishes. Um, what are some thoughts on Sting challenging Seth Wallins for the title? Um, I'm pissed. <laughs> You guys really know how I feel about Sting. I've already pretty much stated many times how I feel about Sting. And having Sting make his return shows me that Sting is gunning for a taker at WrestleMania 32. And that's all he cares about. All he cares about is this fighting taker for that one last hurrah and he's done. He's not going to retire till he faces taker. So Seth Rollins is just a, uh, just a bump in the way for him to, to get the taker. That's it. He's going to be the main event. And I'm not thrilled about that. I'm just not. It, it's not going to be a great match, guys. It, that's, that's my opinion. But I'm not going to get into that. Um, what did you think of Wanae Young? I guess when, I guess Wanae Young when she was a future Divas champion. Um, I really, honestly, I cannot remember Renee Young as a wrestler. I've probably seen her multiple times. But I cannot remember her as one. Um... Oh, wait. What do you think of Renee Young? Is she a future Divas champion? Is she? I, I didn't. I actually thought she was wrestling before. I don't know. Long day. Honestly, I don't see her as any kind of Divas champion. I don't even see her as a fighter. But I've been wrong before. Everybody who's a, who's a commentator currently, or most of them, have been in the ring before. I could have seen her multiple times. I don't know. But if she was one, would she be one? I don't see it. I don't. I see her as a manager or a valet. How long have you been friends with... Okay. Irvin Griffin. That's my... I mean, I have, I've been friends with him for nearly a year now. Close to two. 
Um, we've known each other for a little longer, but I actually met him last year. I met him last November, and he's a pretty good guy. He really, he's a very good guy. I have a great time talking to him. The first time we met, we talked for 12 hours. He's a really nice guy when you get to know him. A lot of people have their own reservations about him, but that's how you feel. But honestly, I think he's a great guy. He, we've been friends for close to, um, we've known each other for close to two years, but I've met him and we've talked like off and on for close to two. So uh, maybe about a total of, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I've known of Irvin for nearly two years, but we actually started talking for one year. Yeah, I guess I could probably say that. Um, name every Sonic and Mario game you played. Um, okay. I played Sonic 1 through 3, Sonic and Knuckles. I've also, I also have Generations from my Xbox 360, which is a great game to play. I have, I think, I, ha I have played Colors. Um, uh, my nephew actually has a Wii and I have played Colors. That's a good game too. Um, I've also played Sonic Unleashed. Not so keen on that game. Gosh, Mario games. Um, Super Mario 64, Mario's 1 through 3, uh, Mario Kart. That's pretty much the only Mario games I can think of that I've ever played. My favorite one by far is Mario 64. Super Mario Bros. 3 is one of the best games of all time, don't get me wrong. And I had fun playing it. Even though I cannot find the cartridge to save my life. And I actually do have my, my old Nintendo. And it still works. Cartridge to Mario 3. Which sucks. But I actually, but Mario 64 is by far one of my favorites. It's probably maybe in the top 10 of, of awesome Mario games. Or the top 5 awesome Mario games. I enjoyed playing it. And the music is pretty catchy. Um, but moving on to Deluxe Monkey. Uh, interesting name. Um... Would you ever like to go on vacation on a country on a country like Brazil or to a country like Brazil? Um well, I would always love to try new things. I always I mean, I I would love to travel more and be able to go to different countries. As for Brazil, I don't know because Brazil they have the hottest summers. <laughs> I'm, I'm I the place that I go to, I would like it to be tropical, but man, it has to, it can be to the point where I'm like come back at least five shades darker. But I don't know. I, I guess I'm game for trying anything new. Who knows? I might go to Brazil. I, I don't know. I just never thought about going to Brazil. But and especially that I'm not really, I, I'm terrible at, at learning languages. And I'm horrible at Spanish. And I definitely don't know Portuguese. So I would have to literally bone up on my language skills before I would ever go to Brazil. That's just me. I couldn't go there without knowing the culture or knowing the or how to speak any any Portuguese. That would just be bad. <laughs> but it's Brazil in an economy crisis. I don't know. Um, the last time I've heard, and I don't really watch the news that often, which shows that I could be wrong. For anybody that knows the current state of Brazil, by all means, leave it in the comments. But from what I've heard, Brazil actually had a decent economy. They had a pretty a darn good economy compared to the U.S. Their economy is better than ours from what I've heard on the news. But that was years ago. I don't know currently what's going on now. So don't quote me on that. But people that do know, leave in the comments. I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Um, Thoughts on Jennifer Love Hewitt. I love her. I really do. Um, Ghost Whisperer was one of my favorite shows before it went off the air. I wish it didn't. But it did. And she's, I mean, she's a really great actress. Did you know that Kelly Kelly is on a, uh, on a new reality show on E! called Wags? Really? Who's she married to? I don't know. I'm a, I've heard of Wags, wives, girlfriends, and something. And fiancés. But I'm going to look that up. I'm going to see who she married or who she's a girlfriend. or I, I'm just going to look her up. Um, did you think that Paige sounds like a, well, okay, no. I don't, and I'm not going to go there and be mean. But, honestly, I love Paige. I will always love Paige. And, no, I don't think that's how she sounds. <laughs> but, moving on from there to Final Limits. Um, Freddy, <laughs> Freddy said in his Q&A Part 2 that you are a park ranger, are you? Uh, 
I'll let you guess on that one. Uh, <laughs> what do you think of his Q&A part one and two? He mentioned um, he mentioned your name a few times in other people's questions. I didn't. I only watched the first Q and A. I did not see part two. I only watched the first Q and A. Um, because at the time when when he came out with his first one, the second one didn't come out. But I'm actually gonna probably watch it after this. Um, but yeah, I just watched the first one. Um, thoughts on John Stewart? I love John Stewart. I didn't like how he how he interfered in SummerSlam, but then when he explained it on Raw, I was cool with it, and I would have done it too. <laughs> Thoughts on Haku, or Haku, um, the dude that teamed up with Rikishi. Yeah, I remember Haku, ha ha Haku, Haku, I can't remember, I can't pronounce his name, Haku. Um, dang, that was a hot minute. He wasn't bad, but Rikishi, I, in my opinion, always seemed like a dude that was a loner. Like, I, I don't think he really needed a partner, but he wasn't a bad wrestler. Um, what did you think of Rikishi turning heel in 2000? That was interesting, but he had legit reason. If you have a legit reason of why you go heel, it's not a waste of time. You can roll with it. Just like with Naomi. Naomi had a legit reason to go heel. And Rikishi had a legit reason to go heel at the time. Because it was all about, well, I think it was. I think Stone Cold was still there around that time. Yeah, he was. So yeah, it was all about Stone Cold. It was just when Stone Cold got hit by a car. And I know about that. It was, it was just like who shot JR instead of who hit Stone Cold with a car. And I kind of understand why he did what he did when Mick Foley was trying to be a super sleuth. So, I mean, if you have legit reason why you go heel, I'm cool with it. And he had legit reason. That was a bit extreme, but it was the Attitude Era at that time. Um, <laughs> why do you think the, okay, why do you think we has a remote instead of a reg regular controller? Um, I think the Wii is just trying to be different. Um, it's trying to do something unique, trying to keep it, uh, trying to stand out b above the rest, trying to be a completely different entity, and they did a good job of it. The only problem that I have with the Wiimote is that you can break too many things with the Wiimote. You can hurt people by flinging it by accident. You can break your plasma screen TVs. It's just a dangerous object, not to mention it's there's far too many freaking accessories that go on a Wii. That's why I'm not a big fan of it. But they have great games. Great anything Mario, you, you can play on a Wii. But the controller, it's just something that's hard to get used to. Especially if you just want to play without having to move your hand everywhere. But yeah, they're just trying to be something different. What if Rockstar could have made a Grand Theft Auto game for the NES and Super Nintendo um, uh, Famicom back in the day? Uh, I think they did, but it doesn't look like the Grand Theft Auto that it does now. It actually was a side scroller, not a side scroller. Um, it kind of sort of looks like what is it? Hotline Miami, something Miami. I can't think of the game, but it does. But I think they actually did make it. I, I think they, I think they did make it for Nintendo. But for those that do know, leave in the comments. Um, moving on from there. If you if you could create your own weapon, what would you create? Hmm. That's a good question. If I had an opportunity to make a BFG, I would make a BFG. <laughs> For those that don't know what a BFG is, that I would just say, okay, play a few games of Duke Nukem. Then you would know what a BFG is, or it's it's short for big freaking gun. Well, not freaking an, another word, but either or, yeah. If I had an opportunity to make a BFG, I would make a BFG. <laughs> that would just be the gun of choice. Seriously, that would be interesting. Ever had dreams when you were being chased, and what we uh, and and ha what were you okay? And whatever was chasing you caught at you in the end. Um, okay, have you ever had a dream about being chased and whatever was chasing you got caught in the end? Um, not so much. I never really had a dream about being chased. Usually my dreams are like, you know, head on. But honestly, I haven't had a dream of being chased. Um, why don't you talk about your worst nightmare you've ever had? Because it was so horrible, it's something that I don't necessarily want to talk about, let alone think of. I didn't even tell my family. 
that's something that was that bad and that scary and that's the reason why I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to think about it just for that reason alone but I know you want me to say it but no I I'm not going to um hey, uh, do you ever have okay this is coming from Nintendo fanboy 1988 didn't forget to say your name <laughs> almost did though um do you ever have any friends of yours like Rico and Freddy added on, added as a friend on Xbox Live? Freddy is! Freddy is one of my friends added on Xbox Live as well as Mr. Parkin from the British Fist. They're the only two YouTubers that I actually do have on my Xbox Live list. Um, but honestly, if Rico had an Xbox One, I would play with him. Uh, I don't play that often though. But, but yeah, I would definitely play. Have you ever played any of them online? No, I haven't. I'm trying to get Freddy to play with me on one of the Sonic games, uh, Sonic Xbox Live games, but he's always too busy. <laughs> and not to mention that he doesn't have any internet hookup on his Xbox 360 yet. But honestly, well actually he does, it's just in a completely different room. But still, if I had the opportunity to play with Freddy on uh, any Sonic game with Freddy, I would play. Because we would have a ball. We would probably play for hours. <laughs> Um, how about largest or final limits? No, I don't. I, I, they're not on my Xbox Live account. I never thought about playing with them. I didn't even think they had a 360. But if they sent me a friend request, I wouldn't deny it. I would just put them on there. Um, would I date the Lex Man? No, I would not because I don't know the guy. And also, the Lex Man is a lot younger than me. <laughs> so, no. Uh, how many pounds do you weigh now? I haven't weighed myself in a hot minute. The last time I did, I was 190. So, it keeps going up and down. But hey, I'm working on it. <laughs> um, next set of questions comes from Little Fish. And let me get this up. Okay. How does your hair look like when you wake up? Uh, <laughs> like this? Seriously, it does. There's not much movement in the hair department unless I braid it and do something and literally loosen it up to where wind can blow through it and it will actually move. Seriously, my hair is that curly. It is ridiculously curly. And people are like, oh no, it's nappy. No, it's actually curly. I mean, it's not like your average loose curls that you would see somebody who has curly hair or wavy hair. But it's actually springy. It's curly hair. And, yeah, it doesn't really move much in a win. Um, what happened to Nutty, uh, what happened to Nutty Rock Chick? Um, I don't know. I really don't know what happened to her, but I guess people get busy, life changes, things like that happen. I don't know. I don't know. But that's something to ask, and I definitely look her up. She has done some great videos. She still does great videos. Um... Are female shooters are female shooters not a lot on the U, uh, YWC with you, um, with you being a few? Um, oh, are female shooters not a lot in the YWC with you being one of the few? Um, I don't really see a lot of female shooters anymore. I know my favorite one was Hannah Banana Bob, and she got married and things change, life changes. Same thing probably with Nutty Rock Chick. Um, and a little doesn't do them anymore and um, a lot of people has a lot of women uh, or young ladies have stopped doing it and it's sad it really is but I hope hopefully I'll be able to cross one but I know that there's a few that actually still um, that actually still do um, that, that actually do still does shoots I'm tired I'm sorry I'm just tongue-tied today but gosh um there was one that I gave a shout out to way back, probably maybe a year ago. And man, um, <sighs> Miss Something Vlogs. Oh man, I, I, I can't, I haven't seen her video in so long. And I actually did look up like at least one female shooter and did a shout out like every single, uh, every single week. Um, but I can't think of her name right now. I really can't. Miss Diva Vlogs? Man, I gotta look her up. I really do. When I do look her up, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box. Seriously. Once I find her name, because I can't think of it right now, and it's not because I forgot about her. I know it's there. I just haven't seen her videos in a while. <laughs> but she's still doing them. She don't do them as many, but but she's still doing them. Um, but anyway, 
Um, the next question for me is, do you think Taylor Swift is hanging around black people? Uh, hanging around black people a bad influence on her? No, I don't think that, that hanging out with Kendrick Lamar is a bad influence. Kendrick Lamar is actually a pretty intelligent guy. He is. Just because he's a rapper does not mean that he's all thug life. The guy is practically intelligent and he has his head screwed on straight. Wiz Khalifa don't know where he is half the time because of how much weed he smokes. Seriously. <laughs> but, but just because Kendrick Lamar is a rapper does not mean he's a bad influence. Same thing with Big Sean. Big Sean is a very intelligent guy. He has his own clothing line for crying out loud and he knows what clothing he wears. As well as what women wear. And he does his own clothing line for women. So those are two intelligent men as well as Common. Common's very intelligent. And just because they're rappers don't mean that they don't have any education. These guys are smart. Or as well as them being thug life. They're not like that. Now, I don't know about Wiz, but all I can say about the Kendrick Lamar, he's a pretty he's a pretty top dude. That's just me. That's my opinion. Is Genie one of the best Disney characters or what? Yes. He is one of the funniest. And I do miss Robin Williams because he had the best he was the only voice for Genie. And it makes me sad that he's gone. But yeah, he was one of the best characters ever. And my final set of questions comes from Music Harmony. No, I okay. When Chris Brown hit Rihanna, did that tramp deserve it? I don't know why I even said that whole thing. And no, nobody deserves getting hit in the face, dude. Seriously. And like I said, I didn't really screen these and I should have. But either or, no, nobody deserves getting hit in the face. I don't care what they've done wrong. Nobody deserves being smacked, men or women. And I've already answered your question right there. Um, who is more filthy, Ariana or Miley? Look, it's a phase. They're kids. It's a phase. It's not a great phase, but it's a phase nonetheless. I'm not going to say they're both dirty or filthy trash. Um, do you think most of these women who use their looks on oh, on YouTube, use their views, on YouTube for views, are view whores? Um, no. Honestly, anybody that goes to the extreme of hurting themselves or doing something that will hurt someone else in order to get views, that's somebody who really wants attention. Whether I can say they're view whores, no. But there's nothing wrong with being attractive being on YouTube. There's a lot of attractive people that are on YouTube that has a lot of views. Nothing's wrong with that. I mean, honestly, if you find them attractive, great. If you don't, that's fine too. But I don't think they're using their looks for views. Everybody has a different type or a different um, genre or what or what have you when they're on YouTube. Things are different. Some people on there for makeup tips. Some people on there for cooking tips. Some people on there for comedy. Just because they're attractive doesn't mean they're view whores. Hope that answers your question. But guys, thank you so much for your questions. Sorry for this being late. If you have any other questions for me, uh, send them to me via YouTube or on Twitter at RK30 hashtag Nature Girl Q&A. If there's anything you want to discuss or anything I have left out, by all means, leave it in the comments. This is Nature Girl 30 signing off. Peace out, guys. Later. I'm a loser